defense ready to kick off their next drive. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. And his throw's going to be incomplete. The intended receiver was D.K. Metcalf, but now it's third down. Sean Taylor there defensively. From the gun, it's Allen. And he can't get away from the pressure. The Giants get there. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They do go for it. Here's Allen. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off around the 37. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. At the 39-yard line. Operating from the gun. Gannon. Over the middle here to Brown. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. 36 yards on the play. You can feel the effort all the way up here. He tried his best to get there. Didn't quite make it, but down around the two, three yard line, got to love the effort, and especially the big play that gave his offense a great opportunity. They'll try the ground game with Jackson. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and goal at the Lions' four-yard line. And they'll get this to Ruggs on the jet sweep. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. On third and goal, they're going to run the option. Here's a quick throw caught out wide. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Darren Waller. As the first half is winding down, and the Giants are able to grow their lead. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And he gets in. And no one was expecting a fake there, but they had two more onto their lead. Sebastian Janikowski set to kick off. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Takes uh -oh, it at the no seven. Sir. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Lions take over first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And you got to think, if this is anything other than just taking a knee, I'd be very surprised. Yeah, they've got enough to talk about at the half. Why do anything else? Let's get out of there. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that's caught inside the 35. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. And the 38-year-old vet able to split the uprights. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second half ready to get rolling. The Giants with a lead, and they are set to receive this kick. They are not Jackson ready for now us. to return. Runs through the contact. Up to midfield. 
And he will take this one all the way back inside the 35-yard line. But whatever the relationship was between the special teams and the offense, it's gotten a heck of a lot closer after a return like that. The special teams just keep setting them up. The offense thinks they'll go out there and knock them down. Throwing on first down, Gannon. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. And he's into the clear. 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Lions. And that score there makes this a much more manageable deficit. Agreed, because before that touchdown, this looked like this was about over. Instead, they've got hope. They're back in the game. They feel better about themselves. And now they have a chance to make some more plays. And they turn the pick six into a pick eight with that two-point conversion. I love how you upsell. That is outstanding right there. What a big-time play. Big switch in how this game was going, and then they capitalize a little bit on top. That's Jackson what it is, baby. Return. That's what it is. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. First and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. The third quarter has not been kind to them. After they built that lead at intermission, they've seen that lead shrink. And how much of that is simply execution? How much of that is maybe you lose your edge a little bit because you've got a lead? And you do have to credit the other team some because they've made some adjustments to start to slow them down. Can they find those counters now, those extra plays or plays they haven't run that'll be effective and get them back moving again? They'll be looking for something here, anything to seize that momentum back. On second down, this is Jackson. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down. They'll run again with Jackson. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. First down. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And takes this one across the 35 to the 36, a gain of about four. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Alexander, and he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily... Oh, he tries to get it to Metcalf, but it's intercepted. Deion Sanders, the Hall of Famer, with a pick. Taking it right down Broadway. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. On now comes the Lion offense. They'll be asked to go for two here. Well, it certainly looked to me like he tapped into the quarterback's thought process there. And what I'm hearing more and more when I go around the league, defenders sitting in on quarterback meetings trying to learn more about how they think so they can be in the right position to be in the right spot as he was there to pick that one off and take it all the way back for a touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Jackson now to return. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They'll run on first down. Alexander, and not too much going there as he'll get it up to the 23-yard line. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. Final minute now in the third quarter. At the 23-yard line. To throw on second down. Gannon, throw right side, going to be caught by Waller. 
And he will finally be taken down, but not before he reaches the 38. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. That's the end of the third quarter of play with the score Giants 21, Lions 19. Second and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Alexander fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Two-yard pickup makes it third and eight. On third down, Alexander. And he'll only get this to about the 35. Well short of the line to gain. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. A gain of only a yard. It's fourth down. On fourth down, Gannon. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. On first down, it's Alexander. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Taken down at the 19-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground. Alexander, he'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Two minutes remain, and that's our score differential as well. Two points here in the fourth quarter. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. And they pick up the first down there with a gain of four. On the carry, it's Jackson. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Third down, here's Bo. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down and a yard. Fourth down and one. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. That one a backbreaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. 